When you love somebody, you really, really consider and care about the quality of their life. Because if you don't, you really can't say that you love that somebody. It's your girl, Tosh, Tosh, Tosh Shama, and I'm back with another motivational and inspirational video so we can change energies and raise frequencies to help make this world a better place, to help make our world a better place, to help make this world a better place. Yes. If you're new here, my name is Tashana, and I'm the founder of The Chosen One's Love. We give out motivational, inspirational, and informational videos as much as we can to help raise energies, frequencies, and vibrations to change mentalities, and yes, help make our world a better place. How y'all doing today? That's what's up. That's what's up. Y'all, in the midst of the storm, what I tell you, in the midst of the storm, the creator and God has you covered. In the midst of any trial and tribulation, any hill, any mountain, God, the creator has got you covered. Let me tell y'all, I be going through it, y'all. I be going through it. I still have that surprise for y'all coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned. Um, but yeah, y'all, in the midst of the storm, God has got you protected no matter what. No weapon formed against you can prosper. No weapon formed against you can prosper. Even when the doctors say, even when the nurses say, even when the teachers say, even when your ex say, even when your mom and dad and family say, even when the government say, they don't matter. What they say don't matter. It's what the creator says. It's what God says. You have to declare and announce the anointing spirit over your life. You have to declare and announce that your house and your home serves the creator. You have to declare and you have to announce that nothing that's that's not for you and everything that's for against you has no jurisdiction over you. You have to proclaim and announce that you are nothing but good and righteous and that you believe in the first health is wealth and you're going to put yourself forward and you're going to put your best foot forward and you're going to do good and be good and feel good and understand good and know good. But in order to do that, you got to make sure that you are giving yourself the vitamins and nutrients and positive affirmations and positive environments and positive people, positive things and choices and places. You have to put all of that in your way, in your path or get there or get there. That's why I say if a person really, truly cares about the quality of your life, they're helping you build. They're helping you grow. They want to see you do good. They honor their word. They are truthful. They are honest. They are positive. They are joyous. They are righteous. They are supportive. They are there for you when they say they're going to be there for you. They pick up the phone like you pick up the phone. Those are the people that you want in your life. Because if they truly cared about the quality of your life, they will care about your mental health. They will care about your financial ability. They will care about your physical health. They will care about whether you are a, are an addict, whether you are harming yourself, whether you are homeless, whether you got shoes on your feet, whether you have clothes on your back, whether you have food in your stomach. They will care about that. They will care about you, you abusing yourself and using yourself. They will stand up against that. That's people caring about the quality of your life. Look, I know, I know we do this just for fun and we do this just for fun, but we do that every now and then. Since when did we start doing that every day? That is becoming you. That is, that is changing who you are. So therefore I am no longer able to be around you because I care about the quality of your life. And because I care about the quality of your life, I cannot watch you hurt yourself. I cannot watch you use and abuse yourself. I cannot watch you get over on yourself. I cannot watch you constantly be down and depressed and full of anxiety when life is nothing but beautiful out here. 
amazing out here, awesome out here. If you be grateful and you stay persistent and consistent with your goals and you don't let any habits, bad habits form an addiction to take you over, you, my friend, will be walking in heaven. You will be moving and driving down the highway of heaven. You will keep a smile on your face in the midst of the trouble, in the midst of the hurt, in the midst of the pain, in the midst of health issues, of those attacks, those weapons that were formed. You will stay grateful. You will stay thankful. You will give all the glory and the praise to the God and the creator above because you know these things, all these trials and tribulations are happening for you, are happening for you. Change your perspective. Change the way you think. Change the way you move. And the good Lord and the creator will see your true intentions. Because remember, your intentions means everything. Your intentions come first. Your intentions have to be pure. You need to be righteous. So yes, in the midst of every storm, I stay happy. I stay smiling. People will never know when I'm really, really going through stuff. Really, really going through stuff. That's because I stay leaning on the creator, on God, on God's word, on God's affirmations, on the creator, on, on positivity, on the, on the universal laws, on what I, what I put out is what I receive. I stay doing good. So in the midst of the storm, I'm still at peace. I still have my peace, y'all. That's what it's all about, having peace through the storm. That's living. You're going to have issues. You're going to have problems. It's all about the peace through the storm. When you have peace through all the storms, through all the trials and tribulations, you understand and you truly see that it is the small things in life. It is the small things that truly matter. It is the things that nobody raves about that truly matters. It's the things, the small things. It's the things that people take advantage of. It's the people, it's the things that people don't take seriously. The things that truly matter, like family. Not only family, your health. Not only health, your household. Not only your household, your finances. You have to learn how to get control of these things and take control of these things consistently and discipline yourself by making these things conform to the things that you need them to conform to by, by attracting that energy, by raising your higher energies, frequencies, and vibrations to match the frequencies and vibrations, to have what you need for your outcome in life, you have to keep going. You have to keep pushing in the midst of the storm. And if you got people around you that do not care about the quality of your life, they do not truly love you. And you know it's real when it's consistency involved. You know it's real when it's consistency involved. Anybody can do something once and you thank them and you be grateful and you be gracious. But if they do it two, three, four, five times to help you or every time you call on them, that is your support system. That is your people. And you do the same thing for them people and you cherish them people and you be grateful for them people. But them people that show up one time just, just, to, just to get the look or just to, just to get the um, image, you got to test them people. You got to see if they keep showing up. You got to keep see if they're going to keep supporting. You got to keep seeing if they're going to keep fighting. Yeah, you got to test them people. You got to make sure people are worthy to be in your life by determining if they really, truly care about the quality of your life. If they don't, remove them people. If they do, keep them people. Cherish them people. Be grateful for them people, y'all. With all that being said, I hope you gained some very valuable information from this video. In the midst of any storm, you can have peace. 
You can be grateful. You can be thankful and you can hear the word of God and the messages the creator has for you to get through anything. You just got to want that. You just got to discipline yourself for that. You got to keep pushing for that. You got to keep fighting for that. Because what's worth having, do not come easy. With all that being said, I hope you gained some very valuable information from this video. I love y'all. Have a very beautiful, blessed evening. Mwah!